Hello guys, my name is Nine, and welcome back to another video. If you guys are new around here, leaving a like and subscribing would greatly help everything that I'm doing here. And without further ado, let's see the cost and the upkeep of the base. So you might notice that the cost is a little higher than you might expect for a base like this. However, it's still manageable. Also, be aware I spam garage doors and other deployables, so it's a little inflated, but still pretty accurate. Alright guys, if you have other questions, comments, or concerns, either leave a comment in the comment section down below, or join the Discord. Link is always in the description. Alright guys, without further ado, let's get into a tour. Alrighty guys, starting at one of our three externals for the tour. We're going to this guy, we'll see that we have 1,000 elf eggs and 1,100 stone on each external. There's three externals, so multiply that by three. Disconnecting our external like this, basic disconnectables. This is used if your main TC is broken. You can disconnect the externals, replace your main TC, and then reconnect it. Okay. Going into our gatehouse, you can see that we have some basic windows out just for visibility and then we have patricos into compound continuing on into base you can see that we have turrets overwatching everything more than enough room for furnaces and all that stuff and then a breach peak module right here with another turret that gives nice angles around compound if and when the walls are broken going further we have this bedroom module that also houses a battery behind this garage door more patricos into compound and that's about it for this guy. Now this base is symmetrical on three sides, meaning that it is basically just a big triangle. So what we have here is we have one module right here that is a bunker that leads to our core. And the other two are gonna be bunkers, but they're all bunkers. So to place the bunker here, we have this opening, we place this twig and upgrade it to the desired grade, sheet metal for instance, and to open the bunker, place this roof tile. Now it's open. Jumping down here, we have our tier two workbench as it's just an efficient place to put it. And then our and then our starter. This thing is compact, just meant to be a starter unit. Nothing more than that. It's three walls from almost every side. So it's very expensive to reach. And it also houses our main upkeep. Pretty cheap for what we're getting. Going out, we can take this jump up higher. Now this floor is our partitioned main loop floor. There's tons of garage doors spam throughout here, loot space, and just everything as you can see here. Jumping down this way, we'll actually see that we have our bunkers down here. Our bunkers house more boxes. And that is mirrored on this side as well. And they seal the exact same way as that first bunker. Jumping to the next level, this is our utility floor. This is used for mixing tables, respawns, uh, electric furnaces, everything. Just anything you wanna use, this is the spot for it. It also houses our, I guess, early game shooting floor from here. And that gives us some bedrooms, obviously some box space, some mountain roof type peaks around base. And this peak is also really nice. Side angle. Before this stuff is all set up, this is a nice side angle. This also houses our roof peak ups and our way to roof. Going to roof here, we have a ton of angles using these wide, wide gaps here. They have nice angles all like this. Just using the ramps as angles too, just climbing up here and shooting this way. It's all different ideas. This little peak right here, this is a nice little low wall peak. Using this conditional from the building skin makes it so this doesn't stick out as far. So it allows this peak to be really nice for a round compound and stuff like that. Then we also have these bedrooms that are mountain roof type peaks. Now be aware sometimes these beds don't place and worst case you're just left with mountain roof peaks and in my opinion that's still okay. They're great for fall, far away. These are nice head glitches. Very hard to shoot back at this angle, especially like this. And then the last thing to mention is that this door through the center, oop, this door through the center is just another jump up from what would have been our utility floor. Alrighty, that about does it for the base. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. And without further ado, let's get into a build. Alrighty guys, I know that a lot of people like to see the footprint beforehand, so here it is. And yes, it does look kind of weird, as it is an all-triangle base for the most part. So, starting off this inner core, these four triangles like this are our inner core. This is that airlock that we saw before, there's two single doors, and each square is an opening of the bunker module. These are our wide gaps, technically. These are our compound bedrooms and battery modules. Our gatehouses, externals. 
And that about does it. And honeycomb. Alright guys, just so you guys are aware, I do use a little bit of build grade in symmetry during this base build, but I try to limit it to a minimum. So starting off here, we're going to start with a very basic four triangle starter. Walling in this section like this. By placing RTC in this orientation, like this, you should be able to put, fit a furnace in here as well. Now I'll just place a double door here for now, but eventually that'll be a garage door. Or if you really want, you can do a window, but I prefer the double door. While on this end, feel free to use double doors instead of single doors. I always find myself having some armored singles, so I like to use them. Only reason I'm using them here. Swing this door outwards for the best effect. And then we can add our boxes and our sleeping bags. The star is very cheap, so I do expect you to expand very quickly out of it. And that is why there isn't much space in here. And too much thought put into it, rather. You're going to get two bags in here. It's just meant to be a very, very basic starter. Going out here, we can add an airlock now. A wall. Another door frame. Obviously, our door for the airlock. At the earliest convenience, I know we don't have a workbench down, but get garage doors down here. At least two will do tons. Coming through now to make our first bunker module, we will place a foundation here, a wall, a wall frame, and triangle floor frame. Now for the bunker module, do this at a twig. Place one twig triangle, one twig square, and one twig triangle. This right here will be our first of nine right side triangles, and I'll show you what I mean. This is one, this is two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Placing a square here and breaking this back. And as you can see here, this is nine right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Now coming back with only squares. Doing our checks here. So the first check to do is this foundation does not place. Be aware if you do know the advanced variation of this bunker, do it. I just know some people have issues with that variation as when it comes to placing and all that fun stuff. If that first check worked, keep building. Two half walls here. Place a triangle right here temporarily. And then slowly move your, your uh, crosshair up until it snaps like this. This triangle right here. Now hover over it. Make sure that it is 28% stable, like it shows on my screen here. And if it is, place this triangle like this. If this places, you're doing good. Now finally, place this roof tile. If it opens, you're good to go. Stone up everything. Now I'll place some sort of deployable or something here as I don't wall in this module yet, as I don't want to waste the resources. But if you do have the resources, sheet modeling this right here is a good idea. Now stoning this wall, I like to add a shelf in here now, off my double door frame, and sealing this guy off fully. This will now be my roof exit, and we'll do that. This is also where I now place my workbench. I'm never on tier 2 for long, so this is just the temporary spot that works perfectly for me. Okay, now we need to make two more bunker modules. Now if you think of it as just one big triangle and not as four triangles here, this is one module we need to, we've already made we need to make one here and make one here so to do that pretty simply i'll speed up the process left side gets a wall right side gets a wall frames on both of them but this one gets a shelf now this one gets a triangle floor frame like this as this will be our jump up so if you're looking at it like this the right side is our jump in or drop down same with this one drop down now we're gonna do the same build out method of the nine right sides. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now doing our checks, this triangle does not place, good. Building our little build up here. 28%, good. 
The bunker opens. Good. Doing those checks like I've just done them there will ensure that this bunker actually works. Now finishing off this module. And placing the door on it. Alright. Jumping forward now. Another two triangles. Same module as before. Just doing it again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Placing our squares and we are coming back good. So just something to note for you guys, this base only really needs to have the first two floors done in their completed form to be as strong as it can really get without externals. So if you are playing on an official server, aim to have the first two floors done day one and more focus on getting components and stuff like that. 28% we're good. Testing the bunker, it works. So just something to note, this base is, it's just modulable, or module. So I, I've, I hope I'm not saying that wrong, but you really don't need to build the entire thing right away. You can more focus on other things on your wipe. And that's something beautiful about this base as the first two floors are technically 50 rockets in total to raid. All right, so now that we are fully symmetrical on every side, as you can tell here, we will come through and turn on symmetry. Now we're going to honeycomb the base on these three triangles, like this. As you can see on every side, ignore them floating. This is what we'll be honeycombing. I like to wall on this one like this, too high, sealed off, and wall this one in, one high, sealed off. Now coming in here, adding a door frame there and a shelf in the interior. Now I'll place my boxes now, but you can place them later if you want. Like this. Before sealing everything off with double door frames and everything. Sealing off the entire of the interior and we're good. At this point, I'll move this double door out to this slot and replace these with garage doors. Along with sheet modeling the tops of these bunkers and if I have it, HQ I'm in the top of our main core bunker. Okay. Same with also sheet modeling all of this visible. If you have the gears and the metal frags, spam garage doors in these spots initially as that's the most effective to split up raid cost and loot, along with coming down into the bunkers and making sure the every wall on our core is high qual along with these foundations. This one only needs to be sheet metal. Oop, went too far. Just like this. And we're good. Also, if you can, upgrade this door to sheet metal, and we'll call it good for now. Now out to this spot, this one actually should be high quality as well, as it technically is the cheapest point into this base, but for now, we're okay. Just to show that upgrade. So now this is what the base looks like. It just looks like a big triangle. So the next expansion we're going to do is our main entrance is in. Put two walls here, followed by a window, a door frame, and a wall, and a double door frame. Now two half walls. Sealing this off. Window, door. If you have it, garage door is great here. Now I'm going to pick up this door. Add three windows here. Glass window them off. I have to put an embrasure in this one. And then a single door frame. Jumping up here. Then adding a ramp here. Coming to the other side. You may have to build yourself over like this to get up here. We place this guy. Okay. Sealing in this floor is pretty easy. From this door, look to the right on the stone. Wall this guy in. This is going to either become a locker spot or an early game battery spot for electrics. And then door frame here, here, and sealing everything off. Put this middle triangle, which I'll turn, on, turn off symmetry for a second, and make a jump up to roof. Pretty simple. Like that. Now I'll turn symmetry back on so I can place the doors. Double door there. Garage door here. 
at this point in the game, if you are early game, I suggest putting beds up here, just a bed for everyone, and some kits up here with lockers, and that way your kits are split between first and third, and that's really good for raid, raid defense and all that fun stuff. Coming to roof, sheet metal, everything, if you can. Apologies for my stuff not working. I'm having some internet issues today, kind of badly. As you can tell, very weird stuff is happening. There we go. All right, final upgrades before we move on to our wide gaps and externals are very simple. Sheet metal, the bottom of this layer of this honeycomb, like this, and this stuff here. Basically everything interior-wise of this, and then come in here, sheet metal, everything in the interior of the bunker, sheet metal, along with these drops. And you can kind of see it on every side, what it would look like. Now quick, what we're going to do is we're going to place the bunker boxes I'll only place one of the two since they're the exact same. This triangle, I just like to leave wood as it's not really need to be anything higher. You can fit more boxes than what I'm about to do, but this is just the very, very basic, easy method, which is just two boxes or three boxes rather, small box, and heck, very easy to spam more small boxes down in this part as well, along with stashes. Okay. And the final thing to do is make sure these frames are upgraded sheet metal. Something to note as well is do not build around the bunkers while they are closed. Only build around the bunkers, that is honeycomb or anything around it, while they are open. Just saves you from any bugs happening and you'll be good. At this point also, sheet metal this foundation, the high foundation, and high qual this if you have extra high qual on every side. So this is what the base should look like if you can. Last thing to note is make sure you obviously put like a small box or something here as you jump up into your thing. So apologies for not showing that off before. Alrighty, the next thing to do is our externals. And we start those very simply with twig, three squares out, come back with one raised triangle, two lowered, and another two lowered. Perfect. Now coming here, we place one more square, two triangles, or a triangle off of every side rather. And this will be our gatehouse module. So I'll make that quickly fully. Glass windows on outside. Embrasures in the interior. And then I will make the external. So off of one side, you put a triangle, three squares, three triangles, these get sheet metal, stone. Sealing this guy in here. Apologies for the lag. There we go. Two garage doors and single door is usually what I do. Be aware if you are playing a more competitive server, beef these externals up more than what I'm doing. Maybe make them bunkered or something of the sort as they are needed to be on those kinds of servers. Now placing our actual disconnectable portion. Make sure to remove the twig and then test that the bunker works. Or not the bunker, but the disconnectable. Perfect. Okay. Make sure to add doors on these guys. And we are good to go. Let's continue expanding. So next thing we're gonna do is place, or not place, but upgrade these foundations like so. If you can't upgrade them to these forms initially, don't worry, it's okay. Now I'm having some issues where they are not upgrading to their proper forms here, as you guys can kind of see. So I'm gonna to try to replace them real quick. There we go. There's a storm outside and that's, I think why I'm having these little connection issues. Stuff is just very delayed for no reason. So I do apologize for that, guys. This is our breach peak module. Make it one more higher. These two will need to be sheet metal with this stone. Placing these guys like this. Roof triangles. Oop. You guys should place these windows first, makes it easier. Then these roof triangles. Windows. Place the proper embrasures on them. And then our roof peak up and our jump up. 
Now be aware if this triangle doesn't place like this when you're trying to place it, because these easily do, sheet metal this and then place it. And now we can place our double door. I'll sheet metal these as it's nice to have those sheet metal. Then you can add two beds pretty easily in here. In most cases, I'll actually leave this door open as it blocks, or it makes it harder rather to shoot out these beds. They'd have to be practically in a very weird spot below to get them. I'll also add a large box up here for kit storage. That is the entirety of the wide gap module done on every side. At this point, the base is extraordinarily tanky, believe it or not, which is very, very good for us. So the next thing we're going to do is place a square and a triangle off of both these guys. You'll have to remove this small box for this. And then these foundations will decay unless you place these frames like this. Now they won't decay and you're good to keep going. Okay. Now I place a square, a triangle, a square, and a triangle. Making a little bow tie to go over here. Followed by another triangle. And then breaking a, or then placing a square, triangle, triangle, triangle. To get this footprint. And obviously this is on every side. And there's another angle to look at it from. These are our bedroom and battery modules. And they're pretty simple. Adding the proper embrasures. And adding lockers and beds. I have to do the beds like this as it gives a better peek when you're standing on this bed for these guys. Make sure to double door this guy off and connect it back to base by placing this frame here. I like to sheet metal it and there's breaking this foundation to save on cost since it's not needed. Also, re-adding some sort of deployable here to make this jump up nice and easy. Now it is time to place the compound. So let me grab a few things to help with that. Okay. So for these compound walls, you're going to want to place them starting off of these guys, these externals, or these uh, gatehouses. Place them practically straight off. I'll look to your right and check the gapping. So when you alt look, you kind of make up the gap in your mind to what a wall should be in that extra area. This looks pretty good. I'd argue that's pretty good. And that's pretty darn good. It helps you think about it. Think like you're going straight off this point like this. And that is the way to place this compound. Alt looking, making sure I'm good. Pretty good. Pretty good, okay. Now placing half walls on top of this module. Apologies. We can add our auto turrets in here. Followed by adding our patrico peaks. Like this. And these only need to be wood. Uh, since chain link fences are only like a technical one rocket, wood is all it really needs to be for these guys. But feel free to upgrade them if you don't mind the extra little bit of cost. And then obviously should fly out to the outside. To place these, I have to place these twig pieces and then place these metal barricades like this. That makes it pretty darn difficult to get through these parts of compound, which I like. Then coming over here, Place some twig like this. Whatever helps you place it. This is kind of just the methodology I've been using for a while. I know some people have different methods of placing their barricades. And then don't forget to add your patricos like this. Now onto our furnace funnel wall. Place it like this. If you place it raised, it will act as a funnel wall. Like this. Shotgun traps, 
on these then become very strong. Also, don't forget to put an auto turret on this triangle, as it gives very good angles around combat. Now, building these triangles up to higher, adding triangles on them, windows, double door frame here, another window here, low walls, a floor frame, which I suggest making sheet metal, more windows, another double door frame, add our embrasures first make this easy we'll put glass windows on these for now and then placing our ramp next thing to note is the conditional piece of the ramp like this on the normal building skins sticks out a ton and makes this peak not really viable but if you have any of these special building skins that piece is removed and it makes the peak way better especially when you put a small box there like this it just makes the peak as you can see here Pretty darn nice. So, the last thing to note is placing this floor frame, or floor grill rather, like this, from underneath. You can easily place it underneath. I just flew through things to make it easy and quick. And then place a bed like this. Be aware, sometimes these beds will not place. They just won't place based on some conditional or some other properties. It happens, as you can see here, I'm struggling with it, right? So, the strategy with this is, if it does not place, Try the other side, hope it places on one of your other sides. In worst case, you are left with just a mountain roof peak. And as you can see here, yes, it is, it's entirely random. It's, I, I, we, we have no clue why it doesn't work sometimes. Like here, I'll try a different building skin. And there we go, exactly, see? It is a little bit of a buggy mechanic, but if it works, you have a free th three bedrooms and roof. Or however many you get so it isn't a guaranteed thing so if it doesn't work i apologize there's nothing you can really do about it we don't actually even know why this concept works we just know it works and that you know obviously we hope it keeps working and then sometimes it just doesn't work so i do apologize if it doesn't work for you it is kind of just a luck thing i'd argue i get unlucky with it sometimes and other wipes every single one works okay next thing is to place these triangles here to block some angles and then these double door frames with double doors to block these angles and give you cover if you need from that direction okay making sure to sheet metal the rest of the roof and let's add our windmills off this outer part we go too high and place two triangles and then we just simply add our windmills like that Alrighty. next thing to go over is final upgrades so final upgrades are on this section right here. We want to sheet metal. Yeah, I don't know why that's happened. Um, sheet metal these guys like that. Sheet metal any of these stabilities like this along with these guys as well. There's no reason not to. And I know it isn't upgrading on screen, but that's just a little bit of lag on my internet. Coming to the interior everything on the interior like these guys should be high quality sheet metaling these pieces like this and these floor frames along with this little section here okay other than that just make sure to spam garage doors throughout in the center portion if you do start to get armored doors in this section in this inner triangle section what i suggest doing is armoring these walls just those on every side that will partition your bunkers further and make them even more expensive to raid but if not don't worry about them sheet metal is all you technically need statistically as well speaking i don't know how that works but that's working i don't know what that little red is <laughs> i always get the fun rust bugs when i have very high ping on servers so very fun then obviously deployable space through this core whatever you need to go in here goes here if you guys want as well, you can actually place a bedroom right here. If you sheet metal this frame like this, forgot to add a garage door, I do apologize. As you can tell, little bit of lag on my end because I just removed this door doesn't even exist on my screen right now. If you guys want another bedroom as well, placing a locker like this, a bed like this, you will still be able to. I'm going to remove this frame and delete the door. 
Apologies, guys. Very weird. But if you sheet metal this frame, this jump up will be easy. But if you leave it stone, this this will be this will kind of cause some issues. As, as you can see, I'm kind of getting stuck here. But if you sheet metal this frame, you can have a bedroom right there. Just utilizing the jump up very effectively. There we go. Make sure to sheet metal this inner portion. Oop. And I think that about does it for the base. Alrighty guys, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave a comment down below. If you have any ideas for next base designs, new concepts, anything, let me know down below. I will take a look. I'd love to see and hear some new ideas or join my Discord. Link is all in the description. We can talk there about absolutely any guys you have, any questions you have rather. I am very active in there. Uh, if I'm awake, the question is answered. So I do apologize if I am sleeping when you ask. But other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Love you guys.